It represents the toughest test to date for Sweden's Thor Troing, who tonight steps into a hostile environment opposite the popular and talented Brazilian, Rafael Sapo. Nicknamed the Hammer for the power that has led him to several knockout wins, the Ultimate Fighter Season 17's Tor Trong showed his versatility in his UFC debut in April when he submitted castmate Adam Sella in the first round. Now riding a five-fight winning streak, the Swede will get a stiff test in the form of Brazil's Rafael Natal. Fresh from a May victory over João Zeferino that marked his first fight at home in more than four years, the jiu-jitsu black belt Natal is back tonight, looking to extend his UFC winning streak to three and get the Brazilian fight fans on their feet. At 185 pounds, it'll be Tor Trong and Rafael Sapo Natal. Well, Kenny, as you might expect, no warm welcome here in Brazil for Sweden's Thor Troeng. But he comes in tonight with some momentum on his side. He's won five straight, 1-0 and in the UFC, and that sets up the biggest fight of his career here tonight against Rafael Sapo. Yeah, Thor Troeng is a guy who really can do it all. Very aggressive, hits a lot of takedowns from the clinch. Very solid ground game. He's going to need that against Sapo tonight. But uh, both of these guys can keep it on the feet. They like to keep it on the feet as well. But trying where it, really where he does his best work is in the clinch. The nine-year pro Thor Troang, the consensus number one middleweight out of Sweden, got the nice Swedish showcase back in April as he submitted Adam Sella. But this just in, Rafael Sapo is not Adam Sella. This is a serious challenge in front of Thor Troang here tonight. Troang, 16 career wins. Six of them by knockout, another half dozen by way of submission. And this is a well-rounded striker, Kenny. Pretty smooth on the feet. Yeah, absolutely. Very smooth, very calculated, very technical. You know, Sapo, very unorthodox. So he's going to have to really stick to his fundamentals and, and not get complacent out there against Sapo. Showing a very cerebral guy. He has a master's degree in engineering physics and now training at Alliance MMA in San Diego, which could pay dividends here tonight. Set to make his eighth UFC appearance, representing Team Henzo, Gracie, Hikaru Almeido, Frankie, Edgar, Phil Nurse, and the rest. Rafael Sapo Natal trying to make it five wins in his last six here tonight. Well, he too is fighting in his hometown. There is his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor, Dracolino, the founder of Gracie Baja Belo Horizonte. Truly a legend in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game. So, some extra motivation for him right there. As you mentioned, Sapo born here in Belo Horizonte. And a guy who hadn't fought in Brazil in a long time before the fight back in May against Juan Zeferino. Natal has been around the fight game for a long time, a pro dating to 2005, and certainly has the UFC experience edge here tonight. Can get a little careless on the feet at times, but he, we have seen him make significant strides in the striking department. Yeah, you know, that was a little bit earlier in his career. He was really up on the scorecards and started clowning around. And it was just a great example of you can never get too confident in the UFC. Always got to respect your opponent. We get to the tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. A pair of 30-year-olds, Rafael Sapo, and Thor Troang, a three-inch height advantage for the Swede Troang, but in the reach department, less so. Just a half-inch advantage over the Brazilian Rafael Sapo Natal. To get us started with the official introductions is Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 16 wins, four losses, one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos. Fighting out of Yumea, Sweden, for the Hammer Trowing. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 16 wins, four losses, one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, 84 kilos, fighting out of New York, New York, USA, Abayel Saponatal. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Leon Roberts. So Leon Roberts draws the assignment here for Troeng. Taking on Belo Horizontes, Rafael Sapo. Strong outside leg kick there for Sapo. Again, the outside leg kick to that lead limb of Thor Troeng, landing for Rafael Sapo. Yeah, one of Sapo's best techniques. He just landed overhand right there, caught him. Looks like it, it caught Thor right around the ear. Those are the shots that takes really take away your equilibri equilibrium there. And Thor trying to survive here. Not at all where Troeng wants to be less than a minute into the fight, though. And Sapo constantly getting trying to work to that half guard. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt from this area. His Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor, his original Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor, Dracolino, who started Gracie Baja Belo Horizonte here. Definitely a legend in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game here. And Sapo in a very good position on top against throwing here in the half guard looking to pass, but Thor doing a good job of trying to elevate, and Sapo trying to set up a guillotine from half guard. Such a heavy top game, too, for Sapo. Really is his bread and butter, and probably the way he drew it up here early, but a nice reversal and escape there by Troy. Excellent reversal here. What's the groin kicks? What's the groin kicks? So that's got to give you some confidence. Yep, didn't start too well for him, but look at that shot. Beautiful left hand from Troy here. Now it's Sapo working from his guard, trying to work a half guard sweep. We've seen Sapo use this in the past, and he just used it beautifully. So Sapo doing what Sapo does here. Two minutes into the fight. It's now Sapo in half guard. It's been a very technical battle on the ground. Throwing, trying to get that right hook in with his foot to try to elevate and get back to his guard possibly look for a sweep of his own, but Sapo in a very good position. And look at this. Thor almost did it again, but Sapo got things under control. Now back in half guard on top of throwing. Throwing getting a little impatient there, trying to reverse Sapo. Sapo threatened with that guillotine, and that forced throwing to immediately go right back to his back. Smart decision from Thor throwing. And look at this, another sweep from half guard. That's the most amount of half guard sweeps I've ever seen in, a, in an MMA fight. Well, Troang knew his ground game and his submission defense would be tested here tonight. And he is getting everything he can handle from Rafael Sapo. But this is different now. Sapo in half guard, and sorry, inside control now. Might be trying to threaten that left arm of Troang. And he's starting to work for it. Might be setting up a Kimura or a straight arm bar here. He bails on it. Can't transition in a mount here. He can definitely transition to mount. Troing's giving it up, but right back in the half guard now. And just such a hard guy to, to buck off of you is Rafael Sapo. It's been a battle for this half guard position from both these men, a position you don't see too often in MMA. And look at this, another sweep from Thor. And Thor Troing is here to fight tonight. Nicely done there. 
and now working out of Sapo's guard. Very technical battle here on the ground from both of these men. Thor now in the guard of Sapo here. Oh, the big left hand there for Troy. He's landed that. That's the second time he's landed that, John. Now working to pass Sapo, trying to get back to his feet. Troying taking the back here. So certainly some encouraging signs here for Sweden's top middleweight, Thor Troying. Thor Troying just staying very calm. Was in some tough positions, got reversed a few times, but reversed right back. And here he is once again in the dangerous half guard of Hafeyan Natal. He's in good position now, and he's going to end this round on top. All right, round one is down here in Belo Horizonte. Did very well standing up. Use your jab to gauge the distance. Watch your levels. On the ground, you've got to put your hips down. Throw more elbows in the half guard, and he's going to open up. Just put your hips down. He's going to open up. He's opening up already. Don't go to the guillotine unless you know you have it. Well, it was a nice start for Sapo. It just caught him. It looked like it was actually a forearm, not a fist. That caught throwing right around the ear, and then it was throwing. Coming right back with a nice left hand. These guys had some excellent scrambles and reversals from the half guard position. Very technical fight here. Look at that sweep from Sapo. Beautiful stuff. And I'm not even sure how much that right hand really caught Troang. Maybe a, a grazing blow at best, but certainly has to derive some confidence, does Troang, with the way he was able to handle. That ground attack and heavy top game from Hoppy. Oh, there's a big right hand. Showing is out. Man, he comes to. What a right hand that dropped him. He ran right into that thing. Throwing, trying to survive here. So Sapo I, going for the kill with hammer fist. I beg your pardon. Showing was not out. And Sapo with great killer instincts, but got to be careful not to empty the tank here as Troang is in survival mode. Well, he was hurt, and he still hurt. Sapo in half guard now. Trying to finish what he started. But Troing got all of that right hand, and now it's short elbows from Sapo right in front of us. Oh, big elbow there from Rafael Sapo. Leon Roberts watching the action closely. Troing reverse, but it's a guillotine. Now he counters to the right side. What a technical display of jujitsu from both of these men. Now he's inside control. And I got to tell you, man, Thor Troing is game. Man, unbelievable. Now again, transitioning to the back, trying to get a hook. Sapo defending well here. Throwing has one hook in. Now trying to take the back here. He has got a body lock. And Throwing able to block that advance there from Sapo. Man, what a fight. And just great recoverability out of the Swede for Throwing. Given the offensive onslaught from Rafael Sapo Natal. Yeah, not a lot of middleweights would be able to recover from that right hand, John. He got all of that, ran right into it. And Sapo, not the most technical striker, but he's effective, as we've seen. And that right hand has landed a couple times. One kind of with the forearm, and that one landed right on the face of, t t of Thor throwing. And these could be some of the longest minutes of his life as he tries to get out of this spot and, and force a third round. Sapo working inside the guard of throwing again. And we cross the midpoint of the fight. Great action on both sides. A lot of offense here in round two from Sapo. Sapo now has passed the guard of throwing. He's inside control, throwing, trying to work to get back to his feet now. Oh, 
Sapo hitting the body with some knees and some elbows. And you kind of had a feeling Kenny Sapo was not going to be denied here in Belo Horizonte tonight. You can hear the crowd chanting when he came in, singing. Has the crowd behind him for sure. This is the loudest we've heard them. Crowing, though, showing so much heart. Was in some very tough positions on the ground and getting knocked down here and early in the second round. And Sapo going right back to work here. Crowing, trying to set up a Kimura. Maybe trying to sit out and attacking here up against the fence. Just sat the wrong way. Watch this knee from Sapo. He goes to the body. Bullock throwing will attempt to stay up right here. Throwing doing a good job of getting that left underhook. He needs to turn and face Sapo. Less than a minute to go now in our middle round. Sapo looking to take the fight to the canvas once again. And now Troing in on a double. Well, it's clear Troing does not want to get hit with another one of those right hands from Sapo. He's looking for this takedown. And look at this reversal from Sapo. Troing now in on a leg. It's been a very fast paced fight here from these guys. Crazy up and downs in this one. Thor throwing in tremendous shape in advance of this middleweight showcase. Finally starting to breathe a little bit heavy, and how could you blame him? What a second round for Rafael Sapo, but it looks as though the Swede will survive, and we will see a third round. Stay with us here on Fox Sports 1. from you, okay? Take a deep breath. Sit up. Go. You're still in this fight, okay? You're, you're still in the fight. Wake up, man. You hit him, you hurt him. You let him come back. This time, give me a one-two combination, then come back again with a two-three. Coach. Hey. Look at me. Take a deep breath. Third round. You can take him out, okay? Pressure. You hurt him every time, okay? Take a deep breath. Okay, corners, let's go. Clear the cage, let's go. This is about as a perfect right hand as you will see. I mean, he just got all of that on the chin of Thor throwing, and somehow he survived. Unreal heart and toughness from Thor throwing. Yeah, his eyes rolled back a little bit, but he recovered with the media see, and thus we see a third and final round. Rafael Sapo trying to make it five wins in his last six. Thor Troang looking to extend his personal winning streak to six. You can see Thor very hesitant on the feet now. Seem to be, seems to be doubting his next move on the feet. That's why he's really chose to decide to grapple with Sapo. But he's not safe there either. I mean, Natal just seems to be firing on all cylinders. And Natal has to be careful now because he keeps ducking down. And a knee or an uppercut may be a problem for here if, if, if Thor gets on to what he's doing. But both of these men very tired. It's been a brutal fight. Thor is in on a takedown. But look at this. He's got an arm in guillotine. Natal really squeezing now. And throwing right into the mount now, John. And looked like Troang was close to going out, but gives Leon Roberts the thumbs up. What a fight. Unbelievable back and forth battle here. Now Troang on top. See if he can pop that head out. He's okay now. He's on the proper side. He's in half guard, and Sapo, Sapo won't have the leverage to finish this guillotine. He should let go of it. He's wasting time here. 
Well, it's been all Sapo over the last several minutes of this fight, but you can be sure that Thor Troang has earned a lot of fans with this gutty performance here tonight. Troang now countering beautifully here with that form on the neck, just staying patient, and that's really been the difference because his ability to stay calm in these terrible situations, I mean, he's yeah. experienced it on the ground, on the feet, getting caught, almost getting knocked out a couple times. And you wonder how much gas is left to try to mount some sort of offense. Yeah, Thor Trung, I mean, he's a, he's a fighter. There's, there's no doubt about it. Here he is in half guard looking to pass now. If he can take his left hand and push down on the knee of Natal, might be able to work in the mount here. He just has to be careful of sitting out too far. We saw Sapo hit a couple beautiful half guard sweeps earlier. Looks like Troing may be trying to bait him into a, into a guillotine. He lets go. Once again, Sapo working on half guard, now attacks the leg. And now look at this, Troing landed some nice shots, and Sapo with a beautiful reversal from his guard. Under two minutes to go in what has been an electric middleweight clash here between Natal and Troing. What a battle on the mat. This is MMA jiu-jitsu at its best here, just back and forth. Beautiful technical jujitsu here and in some unusual positions that you don't typically see reversals from. Half guard, you see it in, in no gi, you, you see it in the jujitsu tournaments uh, quite often, but in MMA, you don't. And both these men have possess, are, you know, really possess some very good reversals and sweeps from this half guard position. Sapo has really done everything in his power to try to finish this fight here tonight, and Thor Troang not having it. Natal has been trying to bait throwing into a guillotine slash pass here. He's getting a hold of that guillotine grip and threatening with the guard pass. And, and look at this, throwing again reverses, but it's that guillotine grip that's not allowing throwing to get back on top. And now look at this, Sapo reverses to the back here. And now has the back with both hooks. So Sapo continues to punish Thor Troang here under 30 seconds to go in the fight. Natal has just been always a slight step ahead of Thor throughout these exchanges on the mat. And he certainly can chalk some of that up to his UFC experience. Here's a guy who was a jiu-jitsu world champion at 23, now 30 years old and doing some of his best work here towards the end of the fight. Huge elbows from Sapo. Excellent ground and pound from Natal there on top. And Again, this is where he's made his jiu-jitsu career, and he may have got the win here. What a performance for Rafael Sapo. We're back with the official decision after this. Stay with us. It's UFC Fight Night. Back inside the arena here in Belo Horizonte for UFC Fight Night, Teixeira versus Bader. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Rafael Sapolonata! What a moment for Rafael Sapo here in his native Belo Horizonte.